Hi, I'm Mr. Stick, and as you can see, I'm a stick. I make videos about interesting. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, nerdy. Sh I'm nerdy and I know it. Today's video is about Nvidia's graphics cards and the first programmer, so it's going to interest the most nerdiest of nerds among us. He means it's only interesting to himself. Do you want me to play it again? No. Oh. I'm nerdy and I know it. So the latest generation of Nvidia graphics cards are codenamed Ada Lovelace. Ooh, I love their deep throat. Different Lovelace. This is Ada Lovelace. Ooh, she's hot. She's dead. That means that my fantasies with her will never have a happy ending. Ada Lovelace was born on December 10th, 1815, as the only legitimate child of the poet Lord Byron and Lady Byron. What does he mean, legitimate? It means they were married. Ew! Lord Byron wanted a glorious boy, but he got a girl. As those were different times... You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Okay, maybe not so different. So he sent Ada and Lady Byron away when she was just five weeks old. And needless to say, Lady Byron was pissed. What does all of this have to do with graphics cards? Well, at the same time that Ada lived, there also lived an English polymath called Charles Babbage. Born on December 26, 1791, Babbage, mathematician, philosopher, inventor, and mechanical engineer, is also considered as the father of the computer. I am your father. Say what? You see, Babbage proposed the idea of an analytical engine in 1837. This was pretty much a mechanical computer. The analytical engine used an arithmetic logic unit, could handle branching and loops, and had integrated memory. You have a boner right now, don't you? Oh, it's throbbing. I get excited talking about things like these. You see, this was a general purpose computer. It was Turing complete a long time before Alan Turing was born and could define what Turing complete meant, aka it can compute anything if you program it to do it. It took over 100 years before the ENIAC computer was built in 1945, which was the first electronic general purpose Turing complete computer. Can we go back to Ada before you have an aneurysm? Fine. Remember how Lady Byron was really pissed with Lord Byron for sending them away? Well, she wanted to root out the insanity that she accused Lord Byron of. So she taught Ada mathematics from an early age. And since she didn't have a smartphone glued to her hand, what better way to pass the time than actually excelling at math? Right? She learned of Babbage's analytical engine and was intrigued by the possibilities of the device. In letters to Babbage, she enclosed what is now considered the first ever algorithm, specifically designed for the analytical engine, making her the first ever programmer. So there you go. Nvidia is kissing geek asses everywhere, because only they would know who Ada is. Nvidia might have chosen this codename as something symbolic for what they're trying to achieve with this new architecture but it was most likely decided through an internal poll by other geeks like me who think that this sh is cool. So how come more people haven't heard about the analytical engine? Well, it never really got built. See, people didn't really have a use for such a machine back then, so it's kind of hard to find funding for stuff like that. You could say it might have sped up technological evolution, but really, it was just ahead of its time. It's like having a huge plow without the necessary tractor to pull it. So why is she called Ada Lovelace if her parents are Lord Byron and Lady Byron? She just married a guy who was later made Earl of Lovelace. And if you like this video, just give me a thumbs down. YouTube's analytical engines don't really care if it's up or down. Man, I'm all out of dirty things to say. Nerdy sh like this just makes me flaccid. Maybe one of these videos is more exciting.